So I think I can speak for all of us when I say we all like a cheap mod, cheap performance mod, something you could take off maybe a newer model year, um, even maybe a different car in the same manufacturer and just bolt it onto yours and have an upgrade. In the case of my steering wheel, you guys remember I swapped in this nice Grant steering wheel and at the same time I put in a newer Trailblazer airbag and to me it just looks nicer than the factory uh, Tahoe airbag that came in this thing. It's not just that generic kind of outline Chevy emblem that uh, these had, the GMCs had it, where it was just like an outline GMC, and it, it just looks nicer to me. Um, it was extremely cheap, and once again, it was just a pop-in, bolt-on deal. So today, we're actually going to be upgrading the front brakes on Tahiti here. You guys remember when I started hitting up junkyards back in the summer, I came across a third-gen Tahoe. I think it was like an 07 or an 08, and according to you guys, you left a lot of comments saying that those brakes bolts directly on to this model year, my Gen 2, which is an 04, and today we're going to be installing them. So once again, um, a bolt-on deal, extremely cheap, because you can essentially just go into any auto parts store, any auto zone, just get factory, you know, reman calipers for an 07 or up Tahoe, um, you know, regular rotors, regular pads, and it should just bolt on to the front of your Gen 2. So let's head on over to the garage. Uh, we're going to get this thing broken down. I have the calipers in the back. I cleaned them up a little bit, hit them with some spray paint. And um, yeah, by the end of the day, we should have uh, better braking on Tahiti here. All right, I got the Tahoe inside and uh, it's ready to start breaking this thing down. It is a tight, tight fit in here, um, but I do manage to fit it even with the workbench here. It's gonna be a little hard, uh, kind of doing the other side. I'm probably just gonna have to back it out and uh, maybe flip it around or I'll, I'll figure it out, but we're gonna get started on the driver's side. I have everything here we're gonna use and I'll, let me just uh, run you guys through all the parts we got. All right, so here are the calipers that I got from that Tahoe in the junkyard video. I did clean them up a little bit. I just hit them with a wire brush, cleaned them, and then sprayed them with some VHT caliper paint. They didn't have anything in gloss aside from red and blue, so I just used the satin black that they had. I'd really like to powder coat these one day, probably if I end up switching out the wheels. For pads, I got these uh, Wagners from the local auto parts place, as well as these nice, um, coated rotors. These are pretty much the same rotors that I put on the Trans Am when I did the um, LS1 front conversion on that car. The calipers that I got from the junkyard were around 30 bucks for the pair, and then the rotors and the pads came out to just a little under 200. Now you could totally do this on a really tight budget. I mean, essentially you could get everything from the junkyard. If you could find a nice set of pads, um, you know, a good set of rotors, calipers like I did, uh, you can easily do this thing for well under 100 bucks. I actually had a set of pads in these. These came off of a police package Tahoe, and um, it had some pretty meaty pads in here, but as I took these apart to clean them, um, I looked closer and they did have some cracks in the linings, so that's why I didn't end up using the police pads and went for a new set. But yeah, I did have some new pads, and that Tahoe actually did have um, really nice rotors on it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get them off. They were freaking seized to the hubs. My hammer wasn't big enough. And um, yeah, I basically just gave up and we have a nice new set that we're gonna put on today. All right, so pulling this off, I'm just gonna remove the caliper with the bracket attached. Um, it's just gonna be neater that way. We'll get all the new stuff installed. And then uh, lastly, I'm gonna remove the hose from the old caliper, transfer it over so we lose the least amount of fluid. At least that's the plan. Now, one thing I'm not sure of here is the brake hose. I don't know if the 04 brake hose is gonna work with the newer calipers. We'll find out in a second, but it looks like it might be too short, judging by the way that it mounts on the 07 calipers, but hopefully I could just kind of turn it and mount it like the 04. All right, guys, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison. I got the stock brakes taken down. Um, this is the factory 04 rotor versus the 07 and up. 
And it's pretty funny actually, looking at the factory one, this actually looks like it could be the rear rotor and that the front. But basically we have an inch increase in diameter with the um, 07 and up, 12 inch for the factory, 04 rotor, and we have 13 inches for the um, 07 and up. And once again, this is a complete bolt-on upgrade. We should be able to just pop this rotor on, bolt the caliper onto the factory 04 spindle. pop a lug nut on here to keep this from uh, sliding forward so we can get the bracket aligned easier. But yeah, rotor fits on there 100% just like the uh, factory one. Now I did test fit these. I think the video where I did the wheel bearing, I didn't have a rotor, but I just test fitted the caliper. So I know the, uh, the holes line up. But as for how it's going to sit around the rotor, you get it tightened down and take a look. Perfectly centered on both sides. So far, so good. Let's go grab the pads. So I'm using these Wagner. Um, OEX 1092 pads, basically um, what the parts store had. And um, I've used Wagner in the past, I never had a problem with them. And I just like to put a little bit of brake grease right on the ends here. Just keeps them sliding nicely. And these pads are like kind of offset. So the bigger kind of square one that goes on the inside, the smaller one goes on the outside. All right, so far so good. Now, it's worth mentioning, um, I honestly didn't really have an issue with the factory brakes. Um, this is really gonna be useful when it comes to towing, obviously. Having a larger front brake it's gonna be able to take the heat a lot better, it's gonna stop better. But um, as far as everyday braking performance, honestly, it stopped fine to me. The only issue, or you know, the only area that I'd noticed um, I could've used an increase in performance is when you're going down like a hill um, I kind of got into the habit of dropping the transmission down to two to kind of engine brake it because if I rode the brakes long enough um, towards the bottom of the hill, you would kind of, uh, th they would start grinding basically. They would get so overheated, you would hear them start grinding and obviously you'd start smelling brake. So obviously now um, with these larger brakes, it's going to be able to take the heat a lot better and, you know, obviously when it comes to towing, um, it's definitely going to benefit there. But the sliders are all lubed up. We got our pads in place. Uh, let's go grab the caliper. Ugh. Here, compress it a little bit. Got a little brake fluid spillage. But that's all right. All right, last thing to do is pull the hose off of our factory caliper, and hopefully it's just gonna bolt right on. You can see what I mean, this one, um, it comes out this way, and the factory caliper, it bends up this way, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna fit. First, we gotta get this off of here. It's gonna make a mess. Uh, 
that fits absolutely perfectly. I'm actually going to look. I just threw it on there for now because I don't want this to leak everywhere. I might have some new copper washers for that. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any new copper washers, so I'm just going to wipe these down really good. They look like they're in decent shape. I have reused these before. I don't like to, but as long as it's tightened down, you check it. It's not leaking. It should be all right. But there we go. Absolutely no different than doing just a regular brake job on one of these if you're just going to, you know, swap in a factory caliper. Um, literally every single part of this is bolt on. We were able to reuse the factory hose, the 07 and up rotor slipped right on, caliper slipped right on, fit absolutely perfectly. I was even able to reuse the factory caliper bracket bolts for this thing. So I'm just going to do a quick bleed on it, uh, spin the thing around. The other side should go um, as smoothly as this one. All right, so to bleed this, I'm just going to use my... Uh, one man bleeder. I already had some fluid in there. It's going to crack this open. Pop the hose on. And yeah, for anybody who's not familiar with this, basically the hose is submerged in brake fluid. So now all we have to do is go in there and just keep pumping the pedal until the bubbles stop. And um, yeah, we could just pop the hose off, close it, and you don't need two people. It's good. I don't see any more air. Let's pop this off here. That's basically it. Driver's side's done. So I'm going to go flip this thing around. Um, repeat the same process. This took no time at all, less than 45 minutes. Uh, between getting everything off, new stuff on, explaining it to you, and bleeding it. So truly a bolt-on upgrade. How well it's going to stop over the factory stuff, we'll see in a few minutes. All right, guys, I got the passenger side finished. We are on the first road test here. I apologize for the audio. I forgot my wire for my mic in the garage, so I got to just deal with the built-in phone audio. Uh, but so far, everything feels great. There's no weird, uh, you know, squealing noises, no grinding. The pedal feels 110% exactly like it was before. I'm just kind of uh, doing a few hard stops here just to get them kind of burnished in. And so far, you know, there's no weird pulling or anything like that they, they stop good they stop significantly better already like I go to press the pedal I'm so used to driving this thing you know I drive this thing every day I go to hit the pedal how I normally would just under regular stopping you feel um, they just grab so much better but with that being said I think the cherry on top, most impressive part about this is the fact that I can do this. It locks the friggin' brakes up at speed now. Never since I've owned this thing, no matter how hard I press on the brakes, was I able to get them to lock up. And you know, as you hear that chirp, as soon as you hear that chirp where they kind of lock up, I feel the pedals start to pulsate and the APS starts doing its job. But once again, it never would do that before with the factory brakes. So it is uh, stopping a hell of a lot better. All right guys, 07 and up brake upgrade on the Tahoe. Huge, huge freaking improvement. And you really, you can't beat this brake mod for one of these things. Um, everything bolted right on without a problem. It took me no longer than any other kind of brake job on this thing. So if you got to, uh, you know, do brake calipers, this thing has 230,000 miles on it. 
Um, at this point, usually, you know, the boots will rip open. You'll need to kind of do calipers unless you run into like a problem where, you know, a slider pin seized up and you need to replace it for that reason. Um, literally, it's no different than just a caliper swap in stock form. Literally, I was able to reuse the factory uh, hose, the factory hardware. All I needed was the 07 calipers, the 07 rotors, and that was it. It was literally unbolt the old stuff, bolt the bigger stuff on, absolutely no drama. And uh, you can see they fit in there quite nicely. Obviously they look 100% OEM. And this thing is extremely filthy. I'm planning on doing the kind of winterizing uh, cleaning video on it where we're gonna completely detail the thing, clean the outside, uh, buff it, wax it for winter. But for anybody who does want to do this upgrade, these came from a 2007 Tahoe. It was a police package, but from my understanding, the police package brakes are no different than the regular Tahoe brakes. Now the 07 being a Gen 3. I don't know what year they ran that generation up to. I want to say it was like 2011, 2012 maybe. Basically, you want to go for um, 2007, 2008, 1500 um, Tahoe you know, calipers and rotors, brake pads, and all this stuff will bolt right up. And as for the wheel choice, like I said, these are 18 inch Z71 wheels from a newer model. Um, and from my understanding, you are gonna have to go to at least an 18 to clear these. I mean, looking in here, there does seem to be quite a bit of room where maybe it'll fit a certain 17 wheel, but I don't know if it's actually gonna fit, you know, the factory 17 inch Z71 wheel. But I mean, aside from that, once again, it is an easy, just bolt on mod but as usual i'm gonna link everything i use down below i'm gonna find a nice set of rotors for you guys nice set of pads as well as a nice set of calipers for me this costs roughly 250 i got the calipers from a junkyard for like 30 bucks um the rotors i got new i got the nice coated rotors and the wagner pads that cost me you know just under 200 bucks but if you're trying to do this on a really really tight budget definitely hit up a junkyard you can get the calipers for cheap uh you could probably find a good set of pads a good set of rotors and you can easily uh do this for well under 100 bucks i'd say probably like 75 80 bucks um you can have this brake conversion and uh yeah totally worth it one more thing guys last video you gave it a lot of thumbs up i think that video um got more thumbs up combined than my last trans am video and the last video i put out on the camaro or at least close to it so it's obvious you guys want to see more tahoe content so this is what i'm going to do as i mentioned uh, previously i'm trying to you know revolve the content where we have uh all different vehicles camaro tahoe trans am not just constant you know trans am trans am camaro camaro and uh being you guys like the tahoe so much and you did hit that thumbs up um goal or at least you know showing me that you want to see more of this um do the same thing give this video a thumbs up and next video we're either going to tackle the headliner or we're going to do the um, much awaited electric fan conversion. However, next video is gonna be a Trans Am video just because um, I need to get that done because I want the Trans Am running so we can actually start doing engine mods to this thing. So I am gonna kind of chug along with the Trans Am. I know a lot of you guys still wanna see that. I think a lot of you guys like uh, both vehicles too. There are Tahoe guys and Trans Am guys who kind of cross over. So, you know, I'm gonna keep the Trans Am stuff coming. But as for the likes, if this video gets more likes, then the next Trans Am video coming out, I'm gonna push Tahoe content again. And then um, if that video also gets more likes, I'm gonna put another Tahoe video out after that. So essentially you guys are gonna be kind of voting um, with the thumbs up, whether you're gonna get Tahoe video, Tahoe video, then Trans Am, or, you know, Trans Am video, Tahoe video, Trans Am video, basically like that. And by all means, Trans Am guys, if you wanna see Trans Am content, when that video comes out, do the same thing if that video on the Trans Am gets more likes than the previous Tahoe video, I'm gonna double up and give you a second Trans Am video before going back to the Tahoe. So it's a little confusing, I know, but basically um, you're gonna be getting two videos of each before you get the next video on the other car. By doing it that way, I kind of prioritize the content and push more videos of what you guys really wanna see. But as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in a few days.